Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Gypsy Wife Life. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick cleanup. So today is Saturday. It's two days after Thanksgiving. I really didn't clean yesterday, which was the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm just gonna do a quick cleanup in here. I'm gonna be cleaning the living room, office area, kitchen, bathroom. I also wanted to share with y'all this new cooling blanket that I just got from Amazon. I love cooling blankets. I think they're amazing. And I just got a new one and I want to share it with y'all. So first we're going to do an unboxing of that. I'll give you some more information on it. It'll also be linked down below. And then we're going to do some cleaning. As if I didn't have enough blankets on my couch already. I just got this one in y'all. I'm obsessed with blankets just so you know, but I literally just got this at my door. I'm so excited to open it. So I got this off of Amazon. It's a cooling blanket. I've had a cooling blanket before and I am obsessed with it. So I got me another one. So this is the brand. I'll have it linked down below. It says cooling blanket, cooling like no other. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm going to open it up and see how it looks and how it feels. So I just got it out of the packaging and I can already tell you I'm going to love this blanket. It feels so good. It's super soft and it's cool to the touch. These come in different colors, but I picked this gray color to match the rest of my blankets and the rest of my decor. If you've never tried a cooling blanket before, I highly recommend getting one. Cooling blankets are literally magical. These are really good during the summertime, but they're also really good for those going through changes in life. Maybe you're having some hot flashes. These work perfect for that. Don't mind me, I'm still in my jammas and in my house coat. Like I said, I just got this to my door so I wanted to open it because I was too excited not to. And I've been editing a video all morning so I haven't got dressed, I haven't done anything, but that's besides the point. I wanted to open it up and show you the size. This also comes in different sizes. I'll have the size that I got down in the description. Okay, so I know this sounds crazy, but cooling blankets really are magical. If you've never owned one, you should try one. It keeps you cool when you have it on. I don't know how it works, but it just does. It somehow absorbs your body heat and reduces your skin's temperature. And I know we're coming into winter and you're thinking, um, I don't want a cold blanket, Charity, but I promise you these are so comfy to use and it's perfect for any time of year, honestly. All right, so I'm gonna start cleaning now. The first thing I'm doing is straightening up the blankets and the pillows on my couch. And I wanted to say, if you notice that everything looks backwards right now, that's because I was filming with my phone today. So everything's gonna look and feel different and everything is going to be backwards. I even noticed the smile sign is backwards in the kitchen. I noticed that whenever I was editing the video, but I didn't know it when I was filming. And also it's because I'm using the front camera instead of the back camera. I wasn't thinking, I just wanted to try it out today and do something different, so this was the results. But yeah, I figured I would mention it just in case anyone noticed that everything was flipped around and opposite, like my entire apartment looks opposite. So yeah, it's just because I filmed it on my phone. We can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Canceled all my plans to with you tonight tonight so just sit with me talking to the night until the morning building can so now that i'm done straightening up the couch i'm just gonna put my shoes away real quick in this little coat closet i have this shoe organizer hanging on the door to store all of our shoes so that they're not sitting on the floor by the front door that rhymed but okay anyways so i'm vacuuming the rug now in the living room over by the couch and then i'm going to vacuum the rest of the floor and then i'm going to be mopping and today i'm using my infuse mop with that lavender fabuloso and a spray bottle mixed with water i'm also going to be using that on my countertops as well you're dropping clues there's no need to rush so let's just take our time Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind, my mind, so just sit. 
So the mop I'm using is from a brand called Infused and I got this mop from Target. You can also get it at Burlington, but I got mine at Target. And honestly, I love this mop, but sometimes the little trigger on the handle that squirts out the cleaner, it gets stuck for some reason and it just ends up going slower than what I would like for it to. So it's just easier for me to use the spray bottle with the cleaner in it. But this mop is pretty cool and easy to use. It has a water tank in the front that you can fill up with water and a cleaner of your choice or you can buy the cartridges that go along with the mop they just pop in at the top but I just get kind of annoyed sometimes with the trigger getting stuck so that's why I use the spray bottle instead it's just easier for me so now I'm going to go ahead and clean off my countertops in my kitchen. I'm using that same Lavender Fabuloso and a cleaning rag. So I'm not really sure how I feel about this filming with my phone. I've done it a few times, but never a cleaning video. I don't think anyway. I always just use my main camera, but I would love to hear what you think. I personally feel like the quality is a little off. I don't know if that's because whatever happened during transfer of the files, but I feel like it's a little... I don't know. The quality just seems off to me, but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. Also, someone remind me not to set the phone up on the bathroom floor while I'm mopping the kitchen like this because the bathtub and the door frame was in the way and I didn't even realize that because I wasn't paying attention. I don't like that. <laughs> I would have cut out this part, but then it would have cut out the part of me mopping the floor. So we're just going to keep it in there, but I definitely don't like that angle and how that part of the bathroom is like blocking the camera and what I'm doing. So anyways, I'm finally done cleaning in here. Like I said, I didn't do a lot. I just felt like it needed a quick little clean in after Thanksgiving. So that's what I did. Stay tuned in the next few minutes though, cause I am gonna be sharing a quick grocery haul with y'all. We found some amazing smelling wax melts at Walmart. They're new and they were only a dollar. So yeah, I'll be sharing that in just a minute. figured I'd throw this in here. I know it's not a lot, but it's just like a quick little after Thanksgiving grocery haul. Um, from here to here is H-E-B. And then we got a few things at Walmart. Starting over yonder, we've got some vegetables. We got some cauliflower, broccoli, squash, and carrot sticks. Some more ranch to go with those. We got some toilet paper. We got some jalapeno cheese balls, lots of nuts. This is a trail mix one with raisins. These are walnuts and filberts, I think. And then Brazilian. We got four Powerades, strawberry lemonade, and a melon. Some 
protein oatmeal French vanilla flavor, some ancient grain rice crackers, some frozen string cheese. So all of that was from HEB. Then I got a thing of cotton balls so that I can switch up my toenail polish, but also for like skincare astringents and stuff. Two packs of gum, a new fingernail filer. And then we found these. These are new at Walmart and they were only a dollar and they smell absolutely amazing. If you come across them, smell them, buy them, try them. I'm about to put them in my wax warmers. I can't wait. They smell so good. It's the Sensationals Warm Cottage and it says my own fairy tale. I don't know what the scents are on here because it doesn't list them, but it smells so good. Highly recommend.